Okay, so arm triangle, go ahead and lay down for me. I've shown this a bunch of times in here. I'll show it again, but the two mistakes are, if it hurts, it's done wrong, it shouldn't hurt at all, it should just kill him. Um, you don't get complete connection and you're too high. This is the problem, okay? So complete connection means I need my arm to be relaxed as I shoot it in here, okay, so I can grab deep. Because what matters isn't that I squeeze hard at all, what matters is there's no space where my arm is not touching Thomas's neck. Then I lower my body, and this is very important because otherwise you'll almost never get it, until my shoulder's on his chest. And then I slowly slide forward until I feel it slide onto his neck, and then I, I just sink my weight. And once you get that spot, it takes very little pressure to finish. And you should be able to do it with one hand. Okay, so again, on the other side, if you're not relaxed and you're, you're stiff and I grab, there's no way I'll finish him because there's a bunch of space right here. So you got to relax so you can grab deep. Then I lower my shoulder. It's on his chest. Then I slide into place here and then I sink. And that last piece of, of sinking is best, better illustrated from cross sides. Because the shoulder adjustments from cross sides here is the same thing. There, right? But if I go like this and my elbow starts to come off the mat, that means my weight's going this way. If my elbow stays on the mat, I probably don't have good connection. If I have good connection, now I'm all the way around his neck, you'll see my elbow slightly off the mat, right? As I sink, slowly sink a little bit of weight straight down, my elbow doesn't come any higher or lower. It stays where it is. I just cut off the part where his neck is, and that's the point. 